RNAs are polymeric molecules. They perform very important functions like coding, decoding, and control the expression of genomes. Like DNA, RNA, combinedly they constitute nucleic acids. And along with proteins and carbohydrates, the nucleic acid constitute the three main macromolecules. And these three main macromolecules, they are found in all forms of life. RNAs are synthesized or transcribed from genes and they perform the main functions of protein synthesis. Apart from protein synthesis, many new RNA molecules have been identified that perform very important functions in cell metabolism and in many other diseases. Some viruses also has RNA genome and they are transcribed into cDNAs. So now we will see the structure of RNA. Here we can see that RNA is a single-stranded molecule, although it is polymeric but single-stranded. Here we can see, just like DNA, it also constitutes of four nucleotides, cytosine, guanine, adenine. But we remember that in DNA, we have thiamine, but in RNA, thiamine is replaced with uracil. So although it has four nucleotides, but difference is of uracil. And we can also see here that these are nucleotides arranged in a polymeric way, but there is no complementary strand in the RNA. So its structure is single-stranded. And the other common thing in RNA and DNA is that of this sugar phosphate backbone. As we have remembered that in DNA, there is also a backbone composed of sugar molecule that was the deoxyribose sugar and phosphate molecule and they both combine to form sugar phosphate backbones. The difference in RNA is that of sugar. Just like we have seen that there is a one difference of nucleotides in RNA, it is uracil and in DNA is thiamine. So difference of sugar we will see later on, but the structure we generally is single-stranded and is composed of nucleotides. So here we can see some similarities and dissimilarities in RNA and DNA molecule. So here we have already discussed the three nucleotides are identical both in RNA and DNA. The only difference is that of uracil in RNA and thiamine in DNA. We can see much more differences in later slide. Here we can draw some differences. Here we can see some differences between DNA molecule and RNA molecule. As we have seen, DNA is double-stranded molecule. On the other hand, RNA is single-stranded molecule. Second difference is DNA has four nucleotides, adenine, thiamine, guanine, and cytosine. But RNA has also has four nucleotides, but it has adenine, but it don't have thiamine, it has uracil, guanine, and cytosine. The third difference is DNA is a static molecule, and it is localized in the nucleus. On the other hand, RNA is a mobile molecule and it moves from nucleus to the cytoplasm. The fourth difference is DNA is a very stable molecule. On the other hand, RNA is a very unstable. 
So it is very difficult to isolate RNA in an intact form. And we can uh, use some special techniques to make RNA stable. Otherwise, it is very stable naturally. Then further, we can see that there are hydrogen bondings in the DNA because DNA is a double helix and one strand is stabilized through hydrogen bonds. So there is hydrogen bonding between the nucleotides. On the other hand, there are no hydrogen bondings in the RNA because it's a single strand and there is no need for hydrogen bonds. Further, we can see that DNA is a self-replicating. On the other hand, RNA is, cannot be self-replicated. Rather, it is synthesized from the DNA. It is synthesized from DNA. And then we can see that DNA can synthesize RNA and on the other hand RNA is used for the synthesis of proteins. So there are many differences and the last and the most important difference is, is that of sugar molecule. So in DNA it is deoxy ribose sugar but in RNA it is ribose sugar. So we have seen that there are many differences between DNA and RNA. So for the eight difference, sugar difference, deoxyribose and DNA and ribose in the RNA, we have to see the structure of these uh, sugars so that we can make sense of these structures. Because this is the main difference between DNA or RNA of that of sugar phosphate backbone. So here we can see that in DNA this is ribose sugar. It has five carbon number one, two, carbon three, carbon four and carbon number five. So four carbons are within the cyclic region and the fifth carbon is as a, is as a branch carbon. So here we can see there is no oxygen at carbon number two. The oxygen is removed. That's why it is called as deoxy ribose sugar. On the other hand, the sugar molecule present in the RNA has this oxygen present at carbon number 2. So that's why it is called ribose sugar. So this is the main difference between the RNA and DNA's sugar molecule. Otherwise, these sugars, either a deoxy, uh, deoxyribose form or in the ribose form, it will combine with phosphate uh, group and form the backbone. So we have seen the structure of RNA and we have also seen the differences of RNA molecule with DNA molecule. And we have seen that RNA molecule is much different from DNA molecule. And the main feature is that RNA is a single-stranded molecule and a sugar molecule is ribose sugar.